Howdy. What's up? Yeah. How's everybody? Good work. Good, good. Rachel, uh, what, even the regular season, how much is it different for you? Obviously, structured role this year versus uh, just coming in as a rookie. Obviously, I have a bigger role this year. Um, I just want to keep going day by day. Uh, I know there's stuff, there's still stuff to improve on before our first game, and you know, don't want to get too high, don't want to get too low. You know, just keep trucking along. What do you think you're better at than this point last year? I guess just knowing how to play in the in the league now. Um, it's obviously a step up from college, you know, and the tempo of it. I'm finally getting the tempo down and just starting to get a lot more comfortable. You know, that was the that was the biggest thing. Was there ever a moment last year where you did feel overwhelmed by being in the NFL? <sighs> yes and no. Um, I try to take every day, you know, as if my number's called, I got to be ready. And, you know, that goes back to having a lot of great dudes in our, in our room, you know, um, just being comfortable in that aspect of, you know, asking questions if I had any sort of, you know, question about what to do on this play, you know, so. Kudos to them. Have you ever disregarded like, the no tech part? Of it. Um, <laughs> if you just look at it like, you know, a first year starter with, you know, two Pro Bowl guys on the outside, do you think teams are going to try to test you because you're unsweet? I mean, I would think so. Um, like you said, um, this is my first time as starting in this role. And, you know, obviously the guys on the edge, like James, they have a lot more experience than me. And, you know, I. I I'm guessing that the teams are going to tend to, you know, point me out at a lot of stuff. But just got to be confident in what I do and just play football. There aren't that many guys who can be an undrafted free agent to be a starter for a Super Bowl team that went to Super Bowl last year. Mm -hmm. Do you ever take time to, like, sit back and reflect on that journey that you've made? And if so, what, what, what comes to mind? It's kind of hard to, you know, you kind of need to flush the past. Um, yeah, we did great things last year. and. You know, especially when my number was called, I had to play a lot. But, uh, you know, last year's last year, and this is a new year, and I just got to take it with a full house team. When you, when you picked off Aaron Rodgers, was there a moment, like, how long did it take you to, I mean, he's like one of the mm. greatest of all time, to the realization of what really happened? And, and what did that mean to you, like, kind of as far as your confidence, as far as feeling like you belonged? It honestly never really hit me. You know, it was just one of those things, like, like, you have to make that play. Like, safeties in the league make those type of plays. And you just – when my number was called, I, I was supposed to – I was supposed to be in the right spot. And, you know, they had confidence in me to be back there and do, do my job. So, that's, that's what I kind of think about. What's unique about sharing the field with Sidney Brown? He's a hard worker, really hard worker. Um, very smart. Um, it's, it's sometimes hard to tell if he's a rookie or not. And that's a good thing. Um, like I said, he, he flies around the field. And obviously, it's, it's better to slow guys down than to speed them up. So he's, he's doing great. And he's, he's going to be a, he's gonna be a great player for us. You've, you've obviously played next to pretty much, you know, Sydney, Justin, uh, Terrell, and everything. How much does that help you going into the regular season, like knowing that you got time with each of those guys, whoever ends up starting week one with you? Yeah, it helps me a lot, um, just having that rotation, just different guys and different communications. Um, just knowing that each other is doing our, that we're doing our job and uh, the confidence we have in each other. And that's what, that's what it's gonna be going forward, you know. Do you have a strong bond with Josh Job and Mario Goodrich? I do, yeah. I do. What's that been like to see all three of you guys undrafted the same class end up on the roster next year? You know, it's, it's great seeing the, the guys that you come in with is still on the team. Um, I, I know their work ethic is, it's crazy. I mean, you got to be. I mean, you're considered not even going to pretty much make it on the team, you know, when we come in. And just knowing what their work ethic is and what they bring to the table every day, you know, it's just great. Uh, I love seeing them go to work. Were you someone who took uh, every rep, um, you know, with the first team, and, you know, you always had eyes on the backside. Um, what's standing out right now about uh, Jalen's connection level that he has yes. with AJ and Devonta? It's one of the best in the leagues. Um, the bond that they have together and just knowing what type of routes they run and what the breaking point is. Like, they're always on time. You know, it's, it's tough to, as, a, as a DB to break on that because they have such a tight bond. They work on it every day. And you can definitely tell throughout practice. 
I've always had confidence in him, even when he was a, a rookie last year. Um, just how he carries himself every day. Um, he he knows what to, he's been in the, that type of program. I mean, he came from Georgia. He's in a, he was a national champion, and you know he carries himself at that type of with that type of level that he he can run the defense and he's confident in what he does. And you can tell that in the voice and in the huddle. What's what's the last week been like for you? Um, to make this kind of move at this point in your career? It's really been like the last 48 hours. It's been uh, kind of kind of crazy just getting, you know, acclimated to a new city, a new new team, a new culture. But it's been great. It's been an amazing experience. You know, the staff, all the all the, the guys here, you know, teammates included, have really helped with the transition and been super welcoming. So it's, it's been a good experience. How much of a challenge is the logistical side of that type of, uh, that type of move? Yeah, so like the behind behind the scenes thing, it's not as bad as you necessarily think. You know, just just gotta pack. You know, enough things. Just um, just the essential items, and then you know the rest of the things that come up that I need, I can get out here. And they, they got guys helping me with a, a living space and all that. So it's not too bad. How you popped off, uh, you know, in that last preseason game? Just, uh, I guess what was your, your more so general reaction to you know finding out and uh, your thoughts on the defense? Yeah, so you know, going into that game, you know, it was just. Um, it was it was it was a really big game for me. Just you know the position that I was in in Denver, just you know trying to just to prove myself going into um, you know that, that fourth year with them, and you know went out there had a big game, and you know I was really I was really proud of myself for that, and uh, you know ultimately that led to me being here, which is a you know this is a great opportunity, and um, definitely super was super excited about it when I found out I was coming here. Did you feel like you were trying out like in that game? Did you feel like? The rest of the league's going to be watching, and uh, was that not, on your radar? Not so much trying out, but just, you know, I knew that that was going to be a big opportunity for me to just, you know, um, exploit my talents, you know, to, to the entire league, you know, uh, and that's that's really how I looked at it. What was the, the process like Tuesday when the report comes out, you're going to be waived, and, and then a few hours later traded? Were you thinking you were going to be waived? Did you think that a trade was possible? How did that work for you? Yeah, so, you know, they, they had explained it to me and said, you know, um, you know, a trade is possible. Um, you know, they're kind of going to kind of gonna go in a different direction, but, you know, a trade was possible. So I was just kind of sitting tight in communication with my agents, and then you know, that's when I was notified that I was, uh, that um, you know, we were trading for me. Did you, did you sort of talk to the Eagles in the draft process four years ago, and then who here do you know at all? Um, it's been a while. I, I, don't, I don't think that I talked to anybody that was currently here that I can remember. Um, but, um, you know, coming here, I, I knew, I know some of the guys here, you know, Stoll and, uh, Grant, um, you know, I, I knew just from, you know, being tight ends in the league and, uh, Stoll's actually from Denver. So I knew him a little bit from just training around the area and stuff like that. Albert, you had, uh, when, when you guys played the Eagles in 21 in Denver, you had like a 50 yard reception or something like that. What do you remember about that play? And and yeah, so at the time, that was actually my longest career catch that I had against the Eagles. That, that was in Denver, and, you know, I had a big game against them. Um, yeah, that was, that, was, that was a fun time. We, we ended up losing that game, I think, in the – I think uh, Slay had a pick at the end and returned it for a touchdown. So that, that, was, that was a fun game. What can this mean for your career coming here? Um, you know, I, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a fresh start, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I'm really excited about the opportunity, you know, going to come in here, you know, work my butt off. You know, I got a great support system here, um, great culture. And really, I just I just look forward to being part of a great program. You know what I mean? A solid, solid program. You know, just great history. Um, you know, obviously, you know, done some really great things as of recent and in the past. So, I uh, just look forward to coming in and, and adding to that. You know, in any way possible. What's your first impression with Jason Michael and, and uh, him as your position coach? Uh, honestly, he's been great. You know, I mean, super helpful. Uh, very dedicated guy. Um, has been working with me over time. You know, I've only been here not even a full two days yet. And he's putting in so much time helping me catch on the offense and just kind of like flooding me with information, but teaching in a really good way. Um, you know, we worked a little bit after practice today and yesterday just on little technique stuff, um, you know, run and pass game. So he's been great. The fans, how, how would you kind of describe yourself as a player? What do you, what do you think? You know, I, you yeah, you know, you know, I, um, you know, I'm a really hard worker. You know, I, I really want to win. You know I mean? I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes, you know, with this fresh start. Um, you know, to get that done. Um, you know, as far as a player, you know, I just I strive to be, you know, the, the best tight end I can be, and that's being able to be effective in the run and pass game. How about Jalen Hurts? What was your uh, like initial interaction with him? Yeah, so, um, you know, 
I we actually remembered me because I played him at Alabama in, in 2018. So he had remembered. I made a couple plays against him. So he had remembered that. And, you know, just talked to me a little bit about the offense, you know, a little bit about the area. And, you know, was just, uh, you know, just kind of uh, giving me a little bit of tips about, about the offense and stuff like that. And, you know, we just expressed that we're excited to, to get together and, and uh, get things going. What, what about your thoughts on, on Dallas Goddard, like from what you've seen, you know, up close the last day or two? Yeah, he's been, he's been great as well. You know, today he didn't, he didn't practice today. So he was uh, in, my, in my ear, you know, just, just kind of breaking things down. Um, going over the, the the plays a lot more and and just explaining things, and um, he's he's been really helpful. What's your approach coming in? You've got about ten days until the season opener. You know, having to learn everything new, new team. You said fresh start, but what's your approach for the next week or so? Yeah, just just grinding in the playbook. You know, and that's getting with uh, the guys and, and and the coaches and just you know learning learning the offense. Um, you know, that's that's the first step right there. Just so I can go out there and play fast, and that's been my, my biggest focus for sure. You mentioned uh, wanting to be a complete tight end in, yeah. in the past run game. It seems like the book on you is that you're much more of a receiving tight end. Is that something that you sort of take umbrage to? That, that you, you think you don't get enough credit for? What else you can do? Yeah, you know that's that's definitely area in my game that I that I've been working at. You know what I mean? And if you if you really look at um, you know what I've done recently, you know I've definitely improved in that area. Um, you know, not, not definitely not perfect, and something that I'm that I'm that I'm definitely trying and, and to improve. And and that's one thing I look forward about work, working with with my coach here and, 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 and getting better in that area, for sure. You didn't play uh, special teams in, in Denver. Is that something you think that eventually you could find a role here? Yeah, I actually uh, played, played uh, I, I got some uh, snaps in, in this preseason in teams and, and, and uh, made some good plays, um, specifically against uh, the 49ers in preseason. So it's definitely something I'm getting more comfortable at and it's something I look forward to you know, adding to my game. Kenny, how, how, uh, how much different does it feel coming into this season uh, versus the past? Um, I feel real good. Um, I feel comfortable um, knowing that, you know, we all have a big role on this team to, you know, get back to the goal. But we're going to take it one day at a time and continue to work hard each and every day to get to our goal. Are you curious how the roles are going to evolve and, and what it's going to look like once the games start with, with all the backs? Yeah, I'm very curious. And I'm excited about that running back room. And, man, we got a lot of great guys in there, me, by, my, uh, me, Boston and uh, DeAndre and Penny, man, we I'm just excited about the roles that we're gonna have and what we going what we can do. You know, we're very special and we're just gonna take control of it. At some positions, it's like you, you win a job and that's settled for the year. But with you guys and, and knowing everyone will play, does that competition kind of continue into the season now? Um, basically, we just gonna man do what we do and hold each other back. We gonna have each other back each and every day and. Um, and we're going to take it one day, one game, one period, man, each and every day, you know, and just continue to work hard. It seems like you, you need – it seems like all you guys are close. You all respect each other. You're all kind of team first guys. I would think this wouldn't work without, without that. Like, if egos get involved and I want these carries, I want these carries, what's the relationship like and how important is it that you guys all – are on the same page that way. You now I'm getting an opportunity to be in the room with all these guys, and they're very special, you know, and I can sense a selfless um, group, and we all, like, know that we have a, a big role that we have to take in, and um, it's just the selflessness in everybody, man. I love it about them. Jalen told us the, uh, the pass you threw against the Colts the other day was, was like, Shane's play. It was, it was the play with last year. Yeah. I remember you, like, bugging him to the call during the game. Uh, I, I, was, I was wishing he would call it every game, but um, I got the opportunity to throw it, and, Hey, they had faith in me. I talk about that a lot, you know, and I showed them. Did Shane say anything to that word? Uh, nah, he didn't. Now, can you really throw it with either hand? Yeah, I can. I can. You feel just as comfortable with either? Uh, I, I feel more comfortable with my left, but, you know, I can I can do small things more right now. Yeah. Okay, we've seen you in really important roles, whether it's two-minute or, or situational mm -hmm. football. What do you think you did to earn uh, the coach's trust in, in those situations? Well, basically, I handled those situations last year, um, knowing knowing what I had to do on and off the field with uh, with just two minute, four minute um, handling it, and you know they trusted me, put me in that position to know what I had to do, know the down and distance, know where you got to get to on the field, know that it's it's four minutes, stay in bounds, two minutes, get out of bounds to save time. So you know they trusted me on that, and you know I, I I'm just taking advantage of it. What do you think about that role? What makes you you know well suited for? 
Too bad. Oh man, we can win games off that road, you know. And you know, it come down to those big plays, you know, big plays happening in, in, in those small times that nobody else realized that, you know, that they happening. So um, you know, I'm just taking advantage of it. When you carved that role out for yourself last year, uh, how did that evolve, and, and what was that moment like when you realized that you're on the field for these kind of game changing situations? Um, I kind of get get an opportunity to show my character on the field and show that. Um, that I'm a smart guy, you know, and you know, smart. They have smart guys in in those times, you know, and just to show that, you know, I, I know what's going on. And I understand, you know, what's going on. Kenny, this, this happened a while back, but what was your uh, reaction when uh, Fletch resigned with the team, you know, and his belief that you guys could, you know, potentially put it all together, you know, for him to come back on the? Uh, I'm very excited that my uh, for one, my cousin get to come back and play with me once again, and I'm excited that. Uh, uh, that we say, oh, head, you know, to come back and be a part of the team, somebody that we really like, trust on this team, you know, um, a guy that's been here a very, very long time and understand what it takes to get, you know, get to the Super Bowl and get to, you know, those things and know what it takes to be around. Can you the first game of the season special in terms of just like, you know, going out onto the field for the first time, lining up for the first play? Can you kind of take us through what it's been like for you? Uh, it, it's very special, um, and for one, I'm, I'm I'm very happy, and I can't wait to get back get back out there on that field, and you know, just to uh, show a couple of people that you know what we got going on this year is very special, you know, and um, basically it's just it's just you know it, it's been it's feel like it's been a long time, but it really haven't been, but um, we just ready to get back out there on that field as a group and, and dominate. Are there butterflies more or less to get? Uh, nah. That moment? No, nah, not at all. But you know, it, it will be on on game day once things get closer and closer. It will be. But right as of now, we not we not really focused on it. We just focus on what we got attacked today. And you know, once it come that time, we are gonna be ready. In terms of looking forward to getting back on the field and like you said, showing people what this team is made of. Where does that eagerness come from? Um, OTAs, camp. You know, us understanding each other and you know, trusting each other and. Basically, just just working hard each and every day and connecting. At your position, you guys obviously didn't, didn't get much work in preseason games. There was no hitting in camp. Is it is it the regular season where the running backs can, can really show what they are because practices only show so much in that regard? Yeah, most definitely. And just to get out there, um, wishing I had got a couple more couple more opportunities in preseason to get you know just to get a couple of hits and get hit you know. But um, just to get out there on game day uh, when that first game kick off and just to get that, that, that feeling back, you know, and knowing what it takes to, you know, run between the tackles and run outside, get tired and, you know, feel fatigued and just know what it takes to, you know, keep pushing yourself. Along with that two-minute stuff we talked about, the four-minute stuff, mm -hmm. we also see a lot in red zone. Typically, you know, we think of 220, 25-pound bikes. What do, what do you think makes you so effective running in those close corners, quarters between the tackles? Uh, well, such as myself, a small frame, somewhere I can hide behind those big guards and tackles. Um, someone that got great eye, you know, that can see, you know, knowing what they're doing, understanding the play, basically just, just being tough, you know, um, just running hard. Got to score when you got to score, man. It's no other, you know, no other way to say it. Just score when you can.